Okay, so last week I did a Q&A, I answered a bunch of questions, but there were still like 50 to 60 questions left. Also last week, there was a lot less people subscribed to this channel. I wonder why. So we all got thrown out, but guess who didn't get thrown out? This one here. <laughs> you know why? I'm black. On a serious note, before I get the video started, I really want to say thank you to everyone that came over and subscribed. Now the brand that Graham said to come over and subscribe, so it means a lot they still actually put forward that effort to search my name and watch the video, so I really appreciate it. The wrestling match is coming out tomorrow on Brandon's channel. Amazing. I whooped his and no! What do you think I was gonna do? Actually show the shop championship? I can't show that right now. Or I actually lost and I've been talking crap for the past week for literally no reason. You don't know, but I know. And uh, we'll see who the champ is after tomorrow. That shop title costs more than this belt. I got this from Walmart for like 15 bucks. It's just cheap plastic. Fine. Also, I ran a poll last week on Twitter asking people, do you guys want me to bring back the Subsqueeb shirts? If you're coming from Brandon's channel and you watch my videos, you realize I say Subsqueeb at the end of the video. That means subscribe. It's just my way of saying it. You know, Subsqueeb. Say it with me now. Subsqueeb. It's a fun word. But last month, I actually released Subsqueeb shirts that looked like this. Yeah, it's the Supreme logo. What's wrong with parodies? At least about like 15 more of these. So if you want one, there's a link down in the description. Again, last week, I asked you guys to put all your questions down below and on Twitter and on Instagram. And there was at least 117 questions, I think. If John Cena joined the Bullet Club, what would you do? Mark the hell out. Would you rather watch Raw or SmackDown Live? Most of my favorite superstars are on SmackDown, but Raw has actually been putting on a better show the past couple weeks. Raw has been like consistent with it the past couple weeks. So I'm gonna have to go with Raw. What's your favorite WWE moment ever? I'm only gonna use stuff that I've seen on television or in person myself. Not necessarily something that happened before I was a wrestling fan. It's more authentic when you see it happen or actually happen live rather than just watching it on YouTube. It has to be like Mania 25 with Undertaker and Shawn Michaels or maybe Punk's Pipe Bomb. What's your favorite wrestling slash WWE show that you've been to? I feel like I already answered this, but the show that always comes to mind is either WWE Battleground 2016, not 17. 17 was good being there in person from what everyone else says. It sucked. Or Death Before Dishonor, Ring of Honor, I believe 2015, 16. 2015, the main event was Jay Lethal versus Roderick Strong, a 60 minute Iron Man match. Oh my God, it was great. Report from Death Before Dishonor 13. Before Dishonor, because it was more than just perhaps the greatest world title match in Ring of Honor. Do you think The Shield will come back? Probably. I'd rather it not, honestly. I feel like all three of those guys are so much bigger than what they were in The Shield that when they try to reform, it's not gonna feel the same, but then it's actually gonna hurt The Shield's legacy in itself. Would you rather win the IWGP title or the WWE world title? The IWGP title is most prestigious, but the biggest title in sports entertainment or professional wrestling is the WWE world title, so prestige, the best. Prestige the best. The best. Honestly, the IWGP title is the prettiest belt I've ever seen. It just looks like something a champion should wear. It looks like if Greek gods are wrestling over something, it would be that. It's such a pretty belt. Who's the best member of Bullet Club of all time? Tama Tonga. Would you rather have CM Punk or Cody Rhodes return to WWE? I like what Cody Rhodes is doing in the Bullet Club right now, so I'm gonna say CM Punk. Would you rather have a million subscribers on YouTube or be a WWE superstar? WWE superstar. You can be a superstar, maybe you're done with wrestling. You can start YouTube, you're famous. You could probably get a million subscribers pretty quick. Well, maybe not famous, but you know what I mean. Well, no. How many wrestling shows have you been to? <sighs> uh, does that include indie shows? Because then we're probably talking over some people are addicted to crack. I'm addicted to dudes in tights. What's the issue? You are very underrated. You put it in all caps. I feel like I read that before. It kind of ties in on the promo package that you'll see for the match tomorrow. So I read that again. Am I underrated? I don't want to put titles on myself. Based off what you guys say, yeah. It sounds sad and cocky if I say I'm underrated. It just doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth. But a healed Malcolm, which you might see tomorrow, might have said that. But it's a character, not me. I'm not that kind of person. Which Roy Rumble's been your favorite? I feel like I've answered that one too. But in case I didn't, 2010. How many pounds can you pile up so far? It's somewhere in the 1200s, maybe 1300s. I'm pretty sure it's in 12s though. I really have no idea which questions I did and did not answer. I'm just gonna scroll around until I see something I feel like I haven't said. Do you think you'll always do wrestling related content? Yeah, why well, change what isn't broke? Do you think WWE will cut the quarter on the Cruiserweight slash 205 division and let the guys go to the main roster? No, I like the competitors on 205 Live. I don't like the crappy gimmicks and storylines they're doing. It feels like a separate roster for like main event or superstars. I really hate it. But the talent on the show is amazing. Rich Swan, Brian Kendrick, Cedric Alexander, Mustafa Ali, Tony Nese, TJP. There's a lot of really good guys. Drew Golak, that's my dude. Do you go to events by yourself or with friends? Do you ever feel weird if you go alone? I've never gone to a show alone and I never will. That is just awkward. I will feel so freaking awkward going by myself. I usually go with friends or I go with a family member, but I will never go to the wrestling show by myself. One time, I was like 14, 13 maybe, I took my freaking grandmother. 
I didn't care. All I know is she likes Mark Henry. I didn't care who came with me. I just wanted someone to go with. Would you rather fight Brandon, Wyatt, Matt, or Vince? I'll take them all on and I'll whoop all their <laughs> Big boot to Brandon, close on to Wyatt, German to Matt, super kick to Vince. They're all dead. And I hope every single one of you guys are watching this right now. Because after tomorrow, there will be a new WWE Shop Champion. Me. Who wants to join the Malkturage? And all the hardcore Brandon Hodge fanboys can come over to this channel. They can leave their dislikes, they can leave their comments. I'm gonna come back at you, I'm gonna put down Twitter, and then I'm gonna block you, Mark. And scene. I really don't hope anyone actually takes it seriously and actually thinks I'm an actual like a hole. I'm not. There was some kid on Brandon's videos that called me like a loser douchebag, and it was just like some seven year old talking about AJ Styles for like 20 minutes. The champ doesn't have to deal with this kind of stuff. I'm gonna win that match tomorrow, fair and square, and there's nothing, and I mean nothing, you're gonna do about it. Because I'll have the title, you know, you won't have a chance to watch me because I'll block your mark. In your opinion, what was the best pay-per-view 2017 so far? Great Balls of Fire, Extreme Rules, Kinda Payback, and probably Royal Rumble. It's one of those. So let's go with Rumble. Did anyone inspire you to do YouTube? I feel like I still have answered that question. I just can't remember what I answered and what I didn't. Inspirations. Let's go down a little bit of a list. All the guys from Well Culture, King Ross, Simon, I'm looking at you. Grimm's Toy Show, who I had the pleasure of being in the ring with. DGDX Animation, because he's actually the reason I legitimately started YouTube, so definitely him. Salt and Battery 777, because he got me into doing the whole rap wrestling vlogs and stuff after I saw his mania vlogs. Brandon Hodge, cause he gave me an opportunity to get in the ring with him and whoop his mark. I keep talking about this match tomorrow. It must be really good. Guess you're gonna have to go watch it tomorrow at 5 or 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For all you guys know, I could just be talking right now just so you guys go watch me lose tomorrow. Or I could be telling you guys to go watch to watch me win tomorrow. You don't know. What do you think about the return of Shelton Benjamin? Somebody said I looked like him. I just don't. I think it's really gonna add some fuel to the fire of the mid card on SmackDown. There's a lot of good guys outside of just Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. I mean, you have Ty Dillinger, you have Sami Zayn, you have Mike Kanellis, who's slowly getting a somewhat mid card push of Aiden English. He's very good as well. You had Chad Gable and other guys. Who's the best wrestler in the world? Okada, Styles, or Omega? Hey, that's a, that's a difficult, that's a very, oof. Oh, what up, bro? That's a very difficult question. Uh, hmm. See, I really don't. Okay, so if I had to rank them, I'd say it's either between Omega and Styles, and then Okada is the third one. Not because of him in the ring, because him in the ring is a good. But him as a character is just kind of Japanese champion. That's it. Who would be number one, Styles or Omega? Styles or Omega? It's kind of 1A, 1B situation. Like, who do you really go with? Omega, I think? Oh, Styles? Styles? Uh, uh. Bad luck, Fale. Who would you rather see come back to WWE? Maxine, AJ Lee, or Caitlyn? If Katrina stays a manager, then yeah, I want her to come back. But between Caitlyn or AJ, because who will get the better pop, you really stand out in women's division, it'd probably AJ Lee. But AJ and Caitlyn, those two were my favorite women's wrestlers. Between the two, it has to be AJ, but I'm down for either one of them. Are you and Leo Rush good friends, or you just see him at events? I do talk about Leo Rush a lot on this channel. I'm not actual friends with this guy. Quick little backstory so you guys understand why I'm such a fan of Leo Rush and Patrick Clark. So Patrick and Leo were training at MCW Pro Wrestling, and whenever MC WWE does shows, they always bring in like some really big names. So at the show I was going to, I believe it was Devon, it was Caitlyn, I think it was Shelly Martinez, and it was like someone else I just can't remember. It was a really, really big name, I just can't remember. As I'm in line, I think it was Shelly Martinez, I think. The guy came over to me and said he followed me on Instagram and stuff. He seemed like a cool guy, so I was just talking to him for a couple minutes. He was just working staff, he was just standing there, he's talking to me. I was talking back, he was a cool guy, right? I was like maybe one or two people away from Shelly Martinez. I looked back over because I forgot to ask the guy's name. Figured since he's such a cool guy, at least you want to know his name, right? And that guy's name is Patrick. Patrick Clark, developed Team Dream. Eventually, once he debuted and I saw him and Leo rush together, I talked to him as well. Really cool guy. Naturally, you just become a fan of these guys. Patrick went off and did his tough enough thing. Leo Rush stayed at MCW, stayed on Independence, still grinding. Patrick made the NXT, Patrick's doing big things. Leo Rush is still on Independence, still doing his thing, still grinding. Gets his opportunities in Ring of Honor, gets his opportunities in CZW. I was already a fan of the guy. I just kept following everything that he did. And I realized how freaking good this guy really is. Reasons why he's probably one of the newest signees for NXT. I had my good friends with him. I seen him in the gym one time. That was like two years ago. I think he lives down in Florida now. But my legitimate friends with this guy, no, just a really big supporter. Where did you get the idea of being a YouTuber? What did your parents think? Any advice to people that want to start a channel? Parents were pretty open about it. I was like 13, kind of shy. They really didn't talk to that many people. I didn't break out being shy until I was like 15. That's when I just started talking just to talk. They thought it was something good for me to do since I really wasn't doing anything. I was just quiet, not like stupid. I get straight A's. Yeah, they just thought it was something cool for me to do since I really wasn't doing much. I didn't really like talking to people all that much. Advice for people that want to start a channel, make sure you have an idea of what you really want to do. It takes time, it takes effort, but you know, what doesn't take time and effort? Hey, black people funny. We is. What's your favorite basketball team? 
Celtics. I'm actually wearing a 76ers hat. I didn't get this while I was in Philly. I actually just had this in general. I don't know why I actually have this. I don't even like the 76ers. Who's your favorite player? When he was for the Celtics, it was Rondo. I don't really have a favorite one now. They're all kind of just my team. But I was like super hardcore basketball and Celtics, which I'm still a really big fan of, obviously. And Rondo and Pierce and Garnett and Ray Allen. It was stacked. It was almost like the Miami Heat, but without the championships. Do you have a top five favorite rappers? Number one is T.I. I know people forgot about who that is. He's the reason I actually started listening to rap because of the album Paper Trails. Then Kanye, then Rick Ross. These are just two people that I've been listening to recently. So Lil Pump, three-way tie-up between Lil Uzi, Lil Dicky, and Future. Yep, Future. It's not like I said g Easy. Malcolm, what should Mike Kanellis' fan should be called? Shouldn't be called anything, so I only hit it once. Favorite YouTubers, uh, what, what's it called? Like, Fire and Feast or something? There's a channel, uh, Hot Ones. There's a channel that does all the Hot Wings stuff. Complex is really cool. Casey Neistat, Liza, Philip DeFranco, Muscle Man Malcolm, What Culture, Christopher London. My friend's been trying to get me to watch Shane Dawson. Because he likes him so much, I refuse to like him, but I'm gonna have to say Shane Dawson only because he's really funny. Did I say Liza already? Well, her and David. And yeah, I feel like that's all the questions. I really want to get this video out. Really say thank you to all you guys because I think now we're at 5.5. If you came from Grimm's channel or you came from Brandon's channel or you just found me in general, I really want to say thank you. Thank you for all the support, all the nice comments. But again, the subscribe shirts are back on sale. There's only going to be 15, so get them while they're hot. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you really enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, share, always subscribe. WWE Shop Champions out, and we outie.